Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, if you are a new viewer to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because it lets me know that you're interested in this type of content. All right, in this particular video, I'm gonna talk about an online automation service called SaneBox and why it's helping me keep my mail down to zero. So definitely stay tuned and check out how I'm using it. All right, so first off, I know that uh, subscription services is not everybody's cup of tea. And uh, I know that a lot of times now, so you almost have to subscribe to any application, be it online or you know, a download sometimes in order to use it. But I did wind up ponying up for SaneBox. And um, I think I'm paying the $59 a year, and I think it goes up to like $99 a year. But I decided to pay for it because after, you know, going through the trial for about a month, you know, I really kind of figured out how it can really reduce the amount of emails I'm having to process every day. And also it's going to help me to get you know, to get my e my inbox down to zero. Now, maybe next year after using this for a while, I'll figure out a way to use smart mailboxes and, and rules to really kind of, you know, replace same box and do it that way. But for, quite honestly, it's been really useful and it's kind of been worth uh, the money here. So uh, basically what you're going to do, if you want to try out same box, same box, they give you a 30 day, um, you know, trial. And if you use my link, you will also get the 30 day trial plus a $5 um, off of the, of the first, first year that I think the subscription or you get a five off of a, of a month of subscription there. And I also get $5 as well if you use my link. So, you know, if you're interested in it and just want to try it out, do that. Uh, one of the things that I do, one of my little tips is when I try out a subscription, um, you know, what I do is I, I subscribe and then I put it on my to, uh, my task manager to, to remind me when that uh, trial is up and then I'll decide whether to keep the subscription or to uh, get rid of it. And a, a really good service will also remind you that, um, the, you know, they're going to charge you for the subscription um, after the trial service. But just in case, you know, you want to be able to put yourself a reminder in there. So basically, I'm going to be very honest. Um, Samebox is, is to me, can be a little daunting because there's a lot of different features in there and a lot of the things you have to kind of do in order to really kind of finagle it to make it work for you. So when you sign up, uh, what they're going to do is put um, some a series of folders Automatically, you're going, to, you're going to give them your your you know email address, you know your iCloud um, email. Uh, you're going to give that and sign in. You're going to I think you use two-factor uh, um, authentication there. You're going to go through that process. That's a little bit complicated, but it will it, it will walk you through that process if you've never done that before. And then it's going to add um, all of its um, you know same box type folders automatically in your iCloud um, account there, right? And it's going to be it's going to be even more more than these. I think it's like seven or eight of them, right? And they're going to put them in there and once they and when you open up, you know, after you, you know, add your account, um, you know, after you do take for the trial or subscribe, they're going to add these folders there and you don't want to change the name of the folders. You, know, you you can pretty much move them around if you like, you know, if you, if they appear to the bottom, you can move them towards the top, what have you, you can do that. Um, but the, the, the main three you want to look at is um, saying, was one called saying late later, uh, saying new, uh, news and saying bulk. Um, and then there's saying archive. All these are explained um, on the website. They will, they will send you, you know, uh, quite a lot of emails, you know, just kind of explaining what's going on, how to use it. Um, there are some video tutorials on YouTube, including the one I'm kind of giving you an overview of right now, right? So there's plenty of that too. So you're going to have to, when you get ready to do this, you want to spend a little bit of time every day just, you know, trying to figure out how to best use it and, and utilize the resources there. So 
And then, so what, they, what they're going to do is they're going to, you know, they're going to analyze the emails that you get um, from, uh, uh, you know, you get in, in, your, in, your, in your Apple Mail. And um, they're going to they're gonna analyze that. And they're basically going to, they're going to kind of separate it off. And they're going to put some emails that they think that you really uh, want to see. Right. And they're going to put that straight up into your um, inbox. And a lot of that might be it might be emails that you've replied to previous, you know, in, in the past. It might be emails that uh, match um, a, 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 a contact or the contacts in your contact um, a list application there. Um, so they use these different algorithms to just figure out what you know, emails that you, you know, definitely probably want to see show up in your inbox. And then they got another one called saying later. And these are emails that, um, you know, you might want to see, but not necessarily in your inbox. You can check them later on. This particular box here, usually in the morning, it has for like, uh, I don't know, 30 or 40, 50, sometimes 60 emails in there that um, I just dump out and I'm going to show you how I quickly get rid of them. But uh, so those, those are the ones they think that you might want to see, uh, but you're not, they're not going to put it in your inbox. And then one of the things that I like, because I subscribe to so many newsletters, they're going to take um, any emails that appear to be newsletters, right? Newsletter emails. And they're going to put those all into one box too. And, you know, quite honestly, just like some people might do with my own newsletter emails, you know, some of these, I, I will scan them, but I will dump a lot of them, um, uh, you know, it, because I'm, you know, I'm, I might read them, I might check them out, but I'm going to dump them um, at, at the end of the day. So those are the three that I use um, on a regular basis. There are other ones that I did not subscribe to. So, I, you know, you can go, when you go on to the, um, when you get ready to sign up for the service, which is, um, let me see, right here. Now, there is, there's a lot of different options. So you want to take your time when you finally get into it, to take your time looking at what option you want. I just went for the one mail email account. And that one email account does include uh, variations of my iCloud uh, email. So, you know, it, it, it's not only just one email on my iCloud, but three, the, other, the other three or four that I use as well. But if, say, but if, I, if you wanted to do your iCloud email as well as your Gmail account, then you would need to get the, uh, the plan that handles two emails accounts. And then um, it gets down to this notion about the, the different... Uh, uh, features that it offers. You want to, you know, get one optional feature or, you know, five optional features or you want to get all the features. Definitely the same later um, box is definitely included in all of those. So, you know, but you get a, you can get an extra one or two, I think, up to five. Um, and also these kind of reminders also, same reminders, which is another feature that you can you can remind you can you can send have it remind you of emails that you designate to be reminded for, right? So, um, so again, though the, the most weird the weird thing is is just not like said that you're going to get these folders in there and it's going to separate this stuff out. Now, don't worry if you know if it separates and not the way that you quite want it because what you're going to do over the next time you know the next thirty days that you're in trial. Uh, and you can, I mean, you do this indefinitely, but again, you want to really focus on training um, same box to know where to send certain emails, right? And so you want so you want to do that. And basically, they're going to send you a, a digest right here. They're going to send you a digest every day, right? And then you're going to open that digest up right in here. Okay. And then there's going to be a list and then it's going to tell you where emails are going right now. Like, you know, the emails that you, that you received today, you know, where are they, where do they go? Right. And, um, you know, in your saying later box, you're saying news box, that kind of thing. Um, and you notice those are the two that I, uh, principally have now in the, in this, I can review this and say this, 
eBay, uh, eBay marketing email. I don't know what that was, but right now it's in saying later. If I wanted to change it, I can put it into to the e box and the inbox here, and it will change it to that or put it in the same box and put it to that. The um, same bulk, I forget exactly what the same bulk, uh, how that works, but it explains it um, in the you know, on the site as well. All right. I'm not, for some reason, I don't think I'm even using it, so I'm not sure why it's listed there. So anyway, um, the, the, they're already there, and you can, you know, select them individually or, or you can select them all and train them to go to one particular designated box that you subscribe to. Now, again, when you are on a trial, you will get, you know, access to all the boxes and be able to decide uh, which ones um, you want there, right? And so basically, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. You see the majority of the ones that... Uh, or in my same news, but I'm pretty well satisfied, so I'm done reviewing. Now, let's go back here. So another way that you can train, which is you don't even have to go on the website, but even you know, even though you will probably want to go into your account uh, probably on a regular basis, particularly through the trial period, just to kind of really understand how to use it. But say, suppose I want to take this right here, this get response, and I want to make sure, I want to make sure that right now it comes in my inbox. So yeah, I definitely want to see it. Uh, but if I don't really care, I can put it right here in the same later. And basically what they'll do is that I'll automatically train it. So next time that the get response email comes, it will come in the same later. And, and basically, you, you see what I've done here is I've dragged these boxes here up until the, the favorite, uh, you know, bar here on my mail. So that's how I can, I can quickly reach them there. So, so that's, you know, that's fine um, there. So that's another way that you can train it. All you got to do if it's, if it's, uh, uh, if it's an email in your, um, you know, your, your uh, saying news, but you want it to appear in your inbox, you just put it over here to your inbox, and next time that it comes up, it will um, it will do that. So that's that's really uh, great about that. And so all I have to do when I'm now in my inbox, see, I I, I pretty much just navigate and, and 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 browse through my emails, and I use my favorite application. You probably should already know what it is when uh, if you listen to my videos a lot. I use a uh, better touch tool to go through and delete um, emails that I don't want. So if I want to get rid of this, I do a three finger click in mail and that just gets rid of it right there. And so that's how I do that. Um, and I can go through and, 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 and delete those. The same thing here, I can go through and delete, uh, I can go through some of the the uh, you know emails that uh, I see here in the news, and I can just as I'm browsing them, I can delete them uh, one by one, right? And let's see, it's getting stuck here. Why are they getting stuck? Okay. All right, got stuck for some reason, but anyway, so I can go through and do that. And then normally, though, to be honest, I just go through and scan to see if there's any emails that I definitely want to check out here, right? And I'll go through and do that. And if I don't really see um, anything, like for here, for example, here, I might um, really check this out here. And if I really want to keep it, I'll either like, um, I can either put it, I try to put it somewhere in a folder over here. I try to create folders for the type of emails that I might keep, right? And so this one deals with kind of blog related here. And so probably what I would do is just, you know, put it, um, you know, I don't know. I'll put it, uh, da, 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 da. let's see, put it right there. Just put it blog related and, and then I'll go back and look it up. But the thing is, so I typically try to do that. Um, but so anyway, um, after I'm done scanning it, what I do is a four finger click. And basically what that does is select them all and delete them to the trash. So my goal at the end of the day is to really get my, my, you know, Apple mail, my, my, my inbox and, and my mail gone by the end of the day. I really try to do that. Now, 
Sometimes I may leave a few of these, um, you know, a few emails in my inbox because I need to get back to the next day, right? But typically I try to go ahead and make a decision about what I'm going to do with them uh, right then. All right. Now, another thing is if, say, for example, I wanted to, you know, this is one of my, uh, here's one of my emails from myself, you know, so if you are a subscriber to Mac Automation Tips, you probably get these emails announcing that I have a new video or a new article posted. But say, for example, I wanted to, um, you know, come back to this email three or four days or next week or whatever. They have a service, you know, that part of their feature is um, Sane Reminder. And uh, the Sane Reminder, I think with the basic uh, package, you get, I think, 10 reminders a month, right? And so you could, you know, read this email and then you can afford it here. And then what you do, and I just have an have a automation set up to, to do this. But um, so see, I wanted to do it, come back next week. So I had that... Um, that that uh, address uh, pasted in there, and then when I send it off, right, it will come back to to me uh, this day around this time next week. And it has a lot of other different options, like you know, uh, three days at same box, uh, next month at same box, April fifteenth, two thousand nineteen. You know, same at same box. You, whatever you want to do, you can you can have them remind you of this email based on the time that you set into it. And again, they have a page that will show you um, how that works and how you set that up. So, um, so that works out pretty well as well. I don't use it too much. And, I, and the reason why I don't use it a lot, though, is because typically... If, if I say remind me three days from now, I'm pretty much in the same situation that I was today. So either it's best for me to go ahead and just, you know, deal with it or, or, or park it into a folder somewhere and come back and deal with it later. Because otherwise, there's, there's no point in me having to show back up in the inbox and then I'm like, oh, man, you know, I'm not ready to deal with it right now. So anyway, so I try to deal with it. And the most important thing that I found since I started using SaneBox, and I've tried a lot of different methods, believe me, is that, again, to create folders, to put, put those emails in your, in your inbox, put them somewhere so that you will um, be able to find them when you're ready to deal with them. And so and I even have a thing called a temporary folder right here so that, you know, these are things I can, I'm going to try to check this folder like once a month just to see if there's any, any emails in here that, um, you know, I need to look back over. All right. But, and so, and then I have, I think I had another one called, yeah, reply. If I can't reply to something, I email um, like right immediately, I will stick it right here in this reply folder. And then I will definitely check that on a regular basis um, as well. You know, like every, probably every day, every other day, but I all know, typically I'll know when I put, a, 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 a email in there because I don't put a lot of them in there. I try to really limit it. I try to, again, I try to get, take care of the email right then um, and, and get it done. So that's the reason why I'm using this application, uh, you know, using this service. You know, I know that, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of difficult to pay for subscription services, but unfortunately that's the only way kind of to support developers and, and, you know, for the work that they do and to also just get, um, you know, a good service. And, and I think that this service is, is, is pretty good. I, I think I'd like to see some more features added to it um, for the $99 a year. That's quite a lot. And so there's so some other ways that you can utilize, um, you know, mail rules and mail, uh, 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 you know, Apple mail, uh, smart mailboxes and things like that to maybe take care of this feature as well. And again, probably by next year this time, I may have just kind of figured that out, but SaneBox kind of does a lot of this um, kind of filtering for me in a way that makes it really easy. And I don't have to have my mailbox cluttered with, you know, 300, 500 um, emails um, every day. I, I just I just don't like that, so it's a waste of time. So I'm spending a lot less time in, um, you know, Apple Mail, than I used to when I before I, start, I started using this. So I would definitely, definitely recommend and give it a try.